Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you saw my last video, which was a grocery haul, I explained how I was planning on doing a meal prep, and that is this video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link that down below for you to check out when you're done with this one. And to start out today, I was doing like a breadcrumb for chicken that I cut up. Um, so you'll see I have almond flour, wheat germ, ground flaxseed, hemp hearts, and nutritional yeast. And to that I added various seasonings, which I will also show you. So please enjoy this and I hope it gives you some kind of inspiration. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. And when the light hit your face, we were just kids, but I knew right away that I will be with you until I stop breathing. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating. These chicken nuggets are so convenient to have on hand as a quick healthy alternative for processed chicken nuggets that you might find in the store. So this was really good. It's something I love having in my freezer. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's Now I'm pretty sure these clips are self-explanatory, but I just um, sliced up cheese into little cheese sticks and this basically it basically never even exists in our fridge because it goes so fast that the kids like want this every single day and I'm always trying to pace them out with it like no just like two at a time or something but they would eat this whole bag in a day if I let them but I don't let them do that. So I feel like I need to apologize quick for this next recipe. I didn't measure anything. I just eyeballed all the ingredients that I put in there. So all I can really tell you is that there were three bananas. I'm sorry about that. Actually, it turned out really well. The kids really liked it. And I had quite a bit to put in the freezer. And they're really good to serve with breakfast. Um, they have plenty of nutrients in them, oats and everything. They seem really filling. So. That's all I can really tell you is there were three bananas, so maybe at least you can get some kind of inspiration to throw a bunch of things together and make muffins. Okay, and I also need to say really quick that I just got this dough whisk, it's called a Danish dough whisk I guess, from, um, I just got it off of Amazon and this was the very first time I used it and I loved it. This thing is like such a game changer for me. I know it probably sounds dumb, but I love this thing. And of course it makes a huge difference with cleaning. It's so much easier to clean than a traditional whisk.
unfortunately these muffins did come out a little dense I think there was a little too much moisture maybe in them but it doesn't really matter that much because the kids love them and they're healthy These peanut butter chia crackers are something I just started doing recently, probably in the last month or so. The children love peanut butter crackers and they're so much cheaper to make on your own rather than paying a middleman to, you know, do the job for you. So it's cost effective and they're healthy because I can put in whatever I want in the middle. I guess not whatever I want because the kids, they do notice things, but chia seeds um, don't seem to be a problem and they are very healthy. They're good fiber, protein, and all of that, and I think they help with digestion, and I don't know all the health benefits of them, but um, I know they're really healthy and they're really good for you, so this is a very easy way to sneak that in. Now, I don't like mushrooms at all, but Aaron really loves mushrooms, my husband. And um, I like to have them in the freezer sliced up and I put them with his eggs or if I'm making some kind of steak, which I don't make often, it's nice to have like um, mushrooms to saute to put on top. And they're just a convenient um, thing to have in the freezer. So that's that. If you watched my grocery haul video on Thursday, you might recall that I had mentioned um, that I was buying the self-rising flour for to use with the Greek yogurt. And what I do is I do a two, make a two ingredient dough and it's supposed to be equal parts of the flour and the yogurt. You could also make your own self-rising flour. I think you add like salt and baking powder maybe. I'm sure the salt is not entirely necessary, but anyway, so you could make this without seasonings as well, but I like to put I think this time I did salt, garlic, and Italian seasoning. It's also really good with rosemary. So this, for me, this amount makes about three pizza doughs, and I like to put them in gallons at block bags. So I put about two, uh, maybe a couple tablespoons of olive oil in the bag, and then I spread it around, kind of squish it in there as much as I can to kind of disperse the oil in the bag, and then I divide the dough into the three bags, and. You can use a rolling pin for this part to make it flat, but I just used my hands this time. I like to put the dough in and get out as much air as I can out of the bag. And then once I'm flattening it out, you'll see I kind of push more air out and then like I open it again, push the rest of the air out and seal it. These are so convenient to, I mean, you're gonna wanna make sure they're laying flat in your freezer because then when you take them out, they're like basically just ready to go. And they're so convenient to have in your freezer. The oil will help it not to stick to the bag too. Um, anyway, they're, they're really convenient, delicious, so easy to make. So I definitely, definitely recommend this recipe.
for the barbecue chicken wraps. I'm actually not sure if they're called wraps or burritos, but anyway, I had some frozen onions, and when you're m making frozen onions or trying to saute frozen onions, it, there's a lot of liquid involved, and they're always, of course, better fresh, but whatever, it was fine. And I actually wound up burning them a little bit, but um, I just added salt and pepper to those, and then I did, I think, four of the larger cans of chicken that I got from Walmart, and I put salt and pepper, barbecue sauce, I added the onions, and that was the filling, the chicken part of the filling. And then on the tortilla wraps, I spread um, ranch dressing and I had some cheddar cheese as well. And you'll see how I make those. that's a wrap that's pretty funny anyway um, so thanks for watching this video I'd say these freezer meals would probably last us a good four weeks or so so about a month of freezer meals and um, food prep I know they're not all for the freezer but um, that's what this is and if you stayed till the end I really appreciate that because I know this video kind of drags on a little bit so if you're not really into this sort of thing that would be really boring so anyway um, if you're not subscribed I would really appreciate if you did so I know um, it would really help me out it would help out my channel I'm trying to build my community here on YouTube and I can also have my family's channel linked below if you wanted to subscribe there if that would be something that you're interested in again thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting my channel I really appreciate that and look forward to another video it should be coming Thursday thanks